Well, welcome back, and we're on the last one of the day, and it is um, for our brunch tomorrow at church, and um, I am making a cinnamon roll casserole, and um, it's a great breakfast treat. Um, I already made the bacon, egg, cheese, uh, sausage one before, so this one is a cinnamon roll one. Very easy to do, quick, and great for when you have that uh, crowd, whether you're having weekend guests or uh, Christmas morning. It's great. So... Hang on one second, it's right here. We're gonna start by taking a quarter, well actually, as a quarter cup of melted butter. But we're gonna start with my ever popular foil pan and we're gonna spray it. Just because we don't wanna lose half of our casserole to being stuck to the bottom. So that's why I'm spraying it. I will throw the pan out, I assure you. Okay, <clears throat> so now we're gonna take a health, um, quarter cup, so a half a stick of melted butter, and we're gonna pour this down into the bottom of this pan, just kinda of all over, just so it's all, on, all along the bottom, down the sides, just cover it the best you can. You see that? Best I can. Kinda of do a little of this, kinda of do a little of that. Ta-da, done. So let's set this aside for just a moment. <clears throat> um, we're going to mix up the custard that's going to go on top of this. So I have three eggs in here. There's my whisk. There it is. Um, to that, I am going to add three teaspoons of cinnamon. So let's see if I got three teaspoons left in here. I might have to go get another one. So there's one. Two and three. All right, put that up there. And um, it calls for a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Now, I like to use whole nutmeg. Um, this is what it looks like from the store, right? It's a nut. <laughs> Obviously, it's a nut. See, nut. Um, and it is so fresh compared to the ground stuff in the can. And I just like to use it. So use my little rasp. And it's calling for a quarter of a teaspoon. So I'm going to just use my best judgment. Oh, it smells so good. All right. That looks good to me. Smells better. Um, a teaspoon of vanilla. And I think that's got oh two tablespoons of flour and just use a light touch you know do it the best you can I don't think I, I'll get a knife out of here same way I do the cuffs whoops there's one overfilled and there's two Okay, so that's the custard. Well, actually, no, that's not the custard. And also a half a cup of heavy cream. That's very important. So I will put this in here. Well, actually, that's not a half cup. That's more like a cup. I will give you the exact recipe when I do it in this set comment section. Okay, so now we're going to whip that up. lump from the flour out. Just whip it up good. Set that aside. Okay, so now I have uh, two tubes, and this is, these are just great value cinnamon rolls. You can use Pillsbury Grand cinnamon rolls. Any kind of um, poppin' fresh cinnamon roll you want to use. I have one actually already cut up here, so I'm going to put this one that I have cut up, I've already made one casserole, so um, I'm going to put that in this bowl, these pieces, all cut up, and, and I didn't cut up both of them because I wanted to see you to see me do that, so I'm taking these out, 
And um, also, you know how they always give you the, the uh, oh, icing? I will reserve that, and when it comes, when the, when the casserole comes out, I'll drizzle it over the top of the casserole. Makes it really yummy. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my cinnamon rolls and just cut them up. This way, this way, you know, you get the drift. Just cut them up. I don't stack them when I cut them because I don't want them to smoosh together. <clears throat> so, it just takes a half a second to do this. Now you can do this, which I'm doing this for tomorrow morning, so I'm doing this now. Um, so you can do this the night before, um, if you would like. And I'll tell you, it makes a nice combo when you're doing the egg casserole and then the cinnamon roll because you got something savory and something sweet. So it is a nice way to feed a, a bunch of people, for sure. But you can also do this, obviously, in the morning. The egg casserole, not so much. The egg casserole, you have to do that the night before. That one needs to marinate overnight. Okay, so here we go. There is two rolls of cinnamon rolls cut up. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this custard and we're gonna pour it down over the cinnamon rolls. Getting every last little, oh, it smells so good. I'll tell you, my kitchen did smell good today. I made the apple cake, I made the lemon loaves. So it has been smelling good in here. So now you see, so I'm going to gently toss this whole thing so that all of the custard covers all of the cinnamon rolls. Now, you can do pecans on this. I'm not going to because whenever I'm doing it for a large crowd like that, um, I'm hesitant to use nuts. Um, so, um, just because of food allergies. So I'm not gonna use nuts, but but if you wanted to do pecans, if I was doing it at home, I would. And um, if you wanna do pecans, then you don't wanna put those on until tomorrow morning. Well, you know, then in the morning, I would toast off the pecans and put them on the top. Okay, so remember our little butter-coated plate or, or foil pan. So now we're just gonna pour this yumminess in here and I'm going to go back here and make sure I get all of the heavy cream everything out of the bowl kind of make sure that I've got it distributed you know well in the pan so they don't have all the dough in one end and not in the other or not in the middle so and that, my friends, is that. That is that. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to um, cover it with press and seal because, you know, that's my my wrap of choice. And I have two of them. So I'm going to go put them in the refrigerator outside. And um, I'll take them tomorrow morning and bake them off at church. And they will be delicious. So um, I hope you try it. You really should. It, it, so they're going to bake at 350 for 18 to 25 minutes. Um, as I said before in the other videos, obviously I can't show you this because I'm doing it in the morning. If I am smart enough and remember, I will truly try to take a picture of my table once I get my table, you know, all loaded with the food. But I can't make any promises because I get really busy. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you try this. Um, especially, like I said, you know, when you've got a crowd for um, a weekend or whatever, it's a great thing. So, have a great weekend, and I will probably be back on Monday. Have a good one. Bye-bye.